Look, Minister, um, you see, it's just not good enough for the people because they're not, when they go to, and believe me, we're engaging with the local authority and sometimes that helps us get solutions. But more often than not, it doesn't. There's so many people falling through the cracks uh, and that numbers that are falling through the cracks are growing and growing and growing all the time, right? Now, you see, it's just not good. I'm not going to describe motives or anything else. But I do think there's politics at work in the sense that I think the government are labouring under the illusion that at some point, if the supply, public and private, reaches a certain level, that rents are going to go down or house prices are going to go down. That's not going to happen. Just not going to happen, unless there's a crash. That's the only way it's going to happen. But do you honestly believe that the private sector are going to let prices go down? They'll stop building before they'll do that. That's what they'll do. They're not going to let rents or prices go down. So if you're labouring under that illusion, you're labouring under a very, very, very mistaken illusion. That is not going to happen. So the public sector has to ramp up on a massive scale the direct provision of public and, and social housing. By the way, and I support all of those projects, never opposed one of them. What I do oppose is wasting human labour building stuff that can, nobody can afford. We were 100% bought behind Cherrywood, which could have solved the entire South Dublin housing problem, by the way. Never opposed any of it. We did try to fight for more social and affordable housing. The problem is, even though that one development could solve the entire South Dublin housing crisis, it won't. Because it's all going to be unaffordable. Uh, and Shangana, we've been campaigning for 15 years to get the, and only we got the sod turned this week. For 15 years we're campaigning to get that. Right? But meanwhile, there's fellas building co-living departments, apartments for 1,300 euro, which you wouldn't put a dog in. And they were built. Right? That's the problem. Keep moving on, deputies. So I, I, I...